What is the role of the church and the community and the parents in modern society, in your mind? I mean, to me, it sometimes feels like we have uh, sort of deferred to the government, if you will, and become complacent. Like, yeah. how, can, how can Christians and the church and the community uh, do better at right. that? I think some of it's a misunderstanding sort of the Bill of Rights, and I think you've had a lot of people in education, progressives and otherwise, who say, well, the First Amendment is to keep, you don't want religious people in your government, but it's really the opposite, it's to keep government out of your religion. And there truly is a danger, and I tell people all the time that words are really important with, with trying to keep government out of, out of your church and out of your religion, is that if we succumb to some of these just subtle changes in wording that where we say, oh, well, your contribution to your church, your church having tax exempt status is a subsidy. If we admit that one small world subsidy, then we're admitting that somehow this entity government's giving money to the church, that the church should be regulated. We're really going down a path that is very, very dangerous. And so even some conservatives say deductions are a subsidy. I tell my staff, we don't ever say that because really once you say that, you're going to be acknowledging that the government should be in control of the church. And once, that's, uh, once that happens, I think it's a really dangerous territory. There's a movement right now. There's about 1,700 churches around the country. Uh, I think even more at this point. And the ministers will get up and they'll give a political right. sermon once a yeah. year. And they re video record it and they send it to the IRS. What are your thoughts on 501c3 <laughs> and uh, Yeah, I'm very aware of the movement and I encourage it. And I'm proud of people who will stand up and do it. And I think it's also important that we know that not one minister's ever been audited because of that, that I know of, or, or co convincingly prosecuted for saying something. And the bottom line is, is a lot of things that we're talking about, you could say that they're political, but they also could be moral approval or disapproval of behavior. So these are things, if you can't say that in your church, where can you say that? Mm -hmm.